Hi guys, welcome to Proper Food. I'm Chef Dean Edwards and today I'm going to share with you my recipe for the ultimate fried mushroom gnocchi. This is actually one of my favourite recipes and it's one that your kids will definitely love. But first we're going to need to deal with our mushrooms. So I've got a combination of mushrooms here. I've got some shiitake and I've got some chestnut. So I'm just going to slice these up into nice kind of bite-sized pieces. Simple as that. Now, would you believe me if I told you there are actually tips when it comes to cooking mushrooms? And the first tip being, never, ever, ever, ever wash your mushrooms. Because if you do, they're gonna actually soak up all that water and they won't fry, they won't caramelize. And we're looking to intensify the flavor and get loads and loads of caramelization on the mushrooms. The next tip, mushrooms need to go into a really nice hot pan. Not a lukewarm pan, because they'll just sit there sweat and boil in their own juices. Really hot, good load of oil into the pan, and then get the mushrooms in and just let them fry. Don't mess about them. Don't touch them. Do not be tempted to touch them. Once the mushrooms have a couple of minutes in the pan, so at this point, you can give them a little flip and a toss around the pan and then pop them back down. But guess what? Don't touch them again. The mushrooms are beautiful and golden now, so I'm about to add some onion. So I'm just going to take half an onion and slice that really nice and thin so that it cooks lovely and quickly. The onions are going to go into the pan along with the mushrooms and they're going to cook down for around three or four minutes. Just keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn. So into that I'm going to add a clove of garlic. So I just use the flat of my knife just to crush it down and take a good pinch of sea salt and then just use the flat of the knife and the salt just to crush that garlic. We don't want any big pieces in there. Once that's done, into the pan as well, and then cook out for another minute. To finish off our mushroom sauce, I'm gonna add two things. The first one being, I never said this was gonna be healthy, a nice big glug of double cream. And then also, we've got some Parmesan cheese. So just get that into the sauce, let it melt, let it do its thing, and we're gonna season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Beautiful. While the mushroom sauce is finishing off, it's time for the next step. So here, I have some potato gnocchi. Now, you can get this in all of your supermarkets. It's in the pasta aisle. Let's be honest, I'm not sure I really like this, because on the pack it says to boil. I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried this, it hasn't got the best texture. If not, the kids can have a little bit of fun with it anyway. Instead of boiling it though, I love to fry it. And then basically what happens, they turn into mini roast potatoes. They're absolutely incredible. And I guarantee you, whatever sauce you put it with, the kids are gonna absolutely love it. So, into another frying pan, splash of oil, the gnocchi go in, and they're going to take around three to four minutes just to go beautiful and golden brown. The gnocchi are beautiful and crisp, the mushroom sauce is there. So all I need to do now, I need to combine them. So add the gnocchi. Give it a good old stir or shake just to combine everything and now it's all about finishing touches. So first up, I've got some beautiful fresh chives. So I'm just going to take my knife and just run that through really nice and fine. And then it's time to add these into the gnocchi. So take a nice handful, sprinkle that into the pan and we're ready to serve. This is bowl food. So get yourself a lovely, great big bowl and then just stack that gnocchi straight in there. Look how good this looks.
I'm just going to finish that off with a few more fresh chives. And just because I had some laying around, I've got a slice of crispy bacon. So I'm just going to tear that up, get that over the top, almost like a crumb. This is going to add texture. And then finally, I just like to take Peter just a few shavings of the Parmesan cheese. That is bloody delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have my crispy fried mushroom gnocchi. If you like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you comment down below which recipes you'd like to see me cook for you in the future. This is my ultimate fried mushroom gnocchi. I'll see you next week for some more proper food.